there is a lot of, I know, chatter because I, I look at uh, different patient groups and I talk to a lot of patients and a lot of interest around uh, something called ESPs. These are elastomeric type cores where the added benefit or the purported benefit is shock absorption. The issue has been that there are some data out of Australia, but also in the U.S., that those types of materials can break down. So there are it, the U.S. or the FDA has been hesitant to approve those type of implants in the U.S. in the lower back because the lower back, your whole your whole body weight is on it, and so there's a higher risk of that wearing out. So when it comes to the lower back, I use things that are a little bit more constrained, and where we have much longer data to say that there's longevity with these implants. And so my recommendation right now, given the data that I see and in my own hands and in my own experience, is not to do ESP type implants in the lower back. We use it in the neck, in the neck when it's appropriate for cervical disc replacement. But with lumbar disc replacement, I think the data is still not there to support their use.